test today on my Fujifilm battery, NP95. You can see this is a legit Fuji charger, uh, BC65N. See what capacity it really had. Because I noticed the X100T, uh, which is the camera this goes into, doesn't have a great uh, battery life. So I wanted to do some more calculations on, um, some more investigation on what's what consumes the battery the most on this camera, but also firstly, um, just check out uh, what the capacity of this battery actually is and if it matches what's on the uh, label here. Right, so uh, nominal voltage is DC 3.6 volts, and it looks like we have a number of 1800 amp hours, and then we have 1700 just below it. So it says minimum, so I believe minimum capacity should be 17, and maybe nominal should be 1800. So we're going to test that out uh, here on my uh, charger to see what we get. So let's set that up. Also, sorry guys, I forgot to mention, as you saw there, well, it was in the charger, the green light was off, which means it's fully charged. And if I do a voltage reading on the battery, we're getting 4.17 volts, 4.17. So that, that is a fully charged lithium battery. Okay, so this is kind of messed up how I had to connect the leads here because it's almost impossible for me to get something to hold on to the contacts of the battery. So I have these two metal poles hitting these. Now this has zero resistance as well. This metal pole to the alligator clips and now to the eye chart. All I really know about this Fuji uh, battery is that it's made by Panasonic. Other than that, I don't know the exact model number of the, of the actual cell and the label on the outside doesn't tell me very much at all. Uh, in terms of the technical specifications of this battery. So I tried looking up on the internet for something that could be this uh, this model or could be this battery, but you know, I didn't really find anything. The closest thing I found here was this LG battery. Uh, it's a prismatic cell and it has uh, roughly about 2000 milliamp hours of capacity. Um, and I was just looking at the discharge, the standard discharge current is 400 milliamps and the end voltage is 2.5 volts. So I just wanted to reference something uh, to base my test on. So I think I'm going to discharge this battery at 500 milliamps, which is half of an amp, and stop the discharge voltage at three. So, I mean, it might not be the exact battery uh, profi profile, of this particular cell, but just based on something that's very similar, um, I'm going to just base base the test on that. Obviously, it's not uh, very scientific, but I think it'll be within the ballpark. Okay, so I had a total loss of audio recording on the camera here, so I'm gonna have to do a voiceover just to show you guys what I'm doing here. So we've got the battery connected up to the eye charger. I'm gonna have to go in here and select this charge. This charge it at about half an amp, I think that's fair. To fully discharge the battery, let's go with a half of an amp. I don't know if you guys can, s the camera works not that great, but anyways, lithium ion. We're gonna set the lithium ion capacity to 1800 milliamp hours. Auto detect the cell, which is one. We're gonna discharge at half of an amp current and our, our um, stop current is three volts. So as soon as the battery hits three volts, we're gonna tell it to stop the process and we're gonna look at how much capacity we have. The amperage will climb up to half of an amp discharge. We also have the running time also going and the milliamp hours counting. So we'll come back and take a look at this. Completed and looks like we have 1620 milliamp hours reaching that minimum of 1700, but you know, close enough. And that was at half of an amp, but we still don't know what kind of current the camera is drawing in different scenarios, flash, not flash, uh, movie mode versus burst mode versus continuous focusing mode. So I plan to get some of those uh, stats later on when I uh, get a part come in. Will the camera power on since it's been fully discharged? Because we also need to know at this point at what voltage does the, does the camera actually power on? Because this would have drained it down to a three, three volts even. And then once the, uh, the load draw stops, the battery slowly recovers some voltage. And right now we're sitting at 3.4. But if I go ahead and try to uh, resume discharge, it'll, it'll drain 
very, very quickly at this point, back to three volts within a few minutes, I'm sure, if not less than that. So let's try to put the battery in the camera. Fuji X100T. Turn on the camera. It still powers on. I'm gonna hit the LCD. And our battery indicator is right there. Very red as in it's gonna die momentarily, probably. I'm gonna take a shot. I don't have a memory card in there. I don't have, I don't have a memory card in here, so. That's weird, I shut the camera off, but it's still got a big red battery indicator light here. I have the flash on as well, actually. Oh, there's no flash on that one. There's a flash on that one. Got about 10 shots in still. Let's take a shot with the flash. We'll try and drain that capacitor for the flash. Okay, still got a few shots in. Yeah, let's go into movie mode. Okay, we're recording. And I got it. There we go. Big battery and the camera's dead. You can see that the, taking the, sh the pictures and with the LCD screen on is a lot less taxing. As soon as I, I'm going to go into movie mode now. And right away it's dead. My guess is the camera needs at least 3.2 volts to to even power on. So the battery is just going to start recovering right now. So I'm going to pull it out quickly, take a voltage reading, and 3.3 volts. Yeah, so my guess is it needs it needs 3 volts. It may need a little bit more than that. So this the test we just did with the eye charger here is accurate. Um, and I think that's a pretty fair test, half of an amp draw. That test did take three hours. So three hours of constant use uh, pulling three and a, pulling half of an amp. So what does this test tell us? It doesn't tell us much really. Uh, basically what it tells us is that the capacity of the Fuji battery that we saw, the 1700 minimum and the 1800 nominal is about correct. As we uh, drew 500 milliamps out of the battery, let's say the battery specifications were very much more similar to that LG spec sheet that I showed you, which was 400 milliamps. If we drew 400 milliamps out of the battery, we would have gotten, I'm sure, to 1700 milliamp hours, maybe even a bit more. So the battery is legit. It's got the capacity that uh, it's touting uh, based on some of the other batteries that are very similar in design. We learned that the battery is legit. What we really need to find out though is in what modes does the X100T use the most battery. And with that information, we can figure out, shoot a movie, I got 10 minutes and the battery is gonna be about half, halfway there, halfway done. So that'll help you prepare for taking your battery out traveling, stuff like that. So hopefully with a little part I get, I might be able to read the current being used from the battery um, into the camera. We'll have to, we'll, we'll wait and see. Not promising anything. Thanks for watching.